On today's special edition of ICN, lessons on holiday safety and local light shows to get you in the holiday spirit. Plus, a follow-up on how the college is taking action to provide food for students on campus. That and more coming up next. Here's the story of a teacher named Carolyn who was lecturing with her heart out every day. All of them aspiring with creativity like their professor, the newest, most enthralled. Here's the story of a man named Jim who was busy teaching students of his own. There were new students, some of them older, and yet he knew the most. And then somehow one day they got put together, and they knew it was a start to something new. That these people must somehow form a classroom. That's how we became the Broadcasting Bunch, the BPT Bunch, the Broadcasting Bunch. It looks like a Zoom call, but we're the BPT Bunch. Oh, that was neat! Hey there, and welcome to ICN News. I'm Michael Quick. And I'm Wesley Elam. The top story today. The annual Spindale Rutherford Inn Christmas Parade will take place on Saturday, December 3rd. The parade will begin in Spindale at 3.30 p.m. and continue through uh, to 5 p.m. Everyone is invited to the annual tree lighting ceremony at the Rutherford County Courthouse lawn after the parade. The lineup for the Spindale Parade begins at 2 p.m. on Elm Street. 67% of every dollar spent at neighborhood businesses stays in our community. Rutherford County Visual Arts Center, located on Main Street in Ruther Rutherfordton, sells pieces by local artists. Art challenges, activates, and nourishes the human spirit. The Rutherford County Visual Arts Center is a nonprofit organization which celebrates and showcases arts and crafts made in our county. In addition to presenting artworks for sale in our gallery, we offer fun, affordable pottery classes for both children and adults in the studio, located in the same facility. Pottery classes accommodate both beginners and experienced potters, and we also offer classes in painting, fiber arts, and an annual summer mixed media art camp for school children. Visit our website, Art at the Back. Dot com to see our class schedule for painting, pottery, and fiber arts, gallery hours, and news about upcoming events. As we are fast approaching the holidays, something we should keep all keep in mind is fire safety. Dixon Go Crow ahead. of the Elmborough Fire Department shares some important tips. The first thing that pops to my mind is if you are using a live tree, be sure to trim the trunk. This allows fresh wood to start soaking in the water and preservative if you have that added to it. Secondly, lights that you put on the tree. Be sure that all the cords are in good shape. Anything that could possibly cause a spark to happen and ruin your Christmas by setting the tree on fire. Drop cords. If you use any of them, from your tree to a power outlet. Be sure they are in as good a shape as well. Plug in one cord to an outlet. When you're dealing with your plug, make sure your wiring is up to standard. Be careful that you're not using some a plug that is not rated for what you're plugging it into. Be safe and stay alive. Thank you. According to the National Fire Protection Association, U.S. fire departments responded to an, import, an estimated average of 790 home structure fires per year caused by decorations. From 2016 to 2020, U.S. fire departments responded to an estimated average of 160 home structure fires per year that began with the ignition of a fire Christmas tree. You can help local children have brighter Christmas this season by participating in the FBLA's Angel Tree. The Angel Tree is operated by the Salvation Army and located in the Business Sciences Building. There are only a few angels left. The deadline to return the unwrapped gifts is December 8th. You can return the gifts directly to the Salvation Army along with your angel, or you can return them to Tammy F Fowler in the Business Sciences. If you plan to return them to Tammy, please do so by December 7th. She will need time to take them to the Salvation Army. The Rutherford County Arts Council is a nonprofit organization started in the early 70s by Matthew and Diane McInerney. The Arts Council has produced numerous theatrical plays, movie camps, exhibits, and after-school educational programs. The broad mission statement for the Arts Council is cultural revitalization through the arts. And then usually we say after that, 
especially through the means of involving as many people as possible in theater, and especially young people. Coming up, a local nonprofit is providing hope for teens. And the Library History Series invites some familiar faces back to the campus for a virtual presentation. The Rutherford County Senior Center is looking for volunteer delivery drivers to take prepared food to the elderly at home. The Home Delivered Meals program is a special program for seniors in the county that are homebound. If you would like to make a difference in your community, if you enjoy meeting new people and being of service to those around you, join the Home Delivered Meals volunteer group today. Volunteers must be 21 years of age. For more information on volunteering, go to the Rutherford County Senior Center website. Are you looking for a school that stays connected with its students? Isothermal Community College is the right place for you. With their social media pages, we make it easy for students to stay informed on campus events and the different programs that we have to offer. You can like us on any of our Facebook pages or follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and our very own YouTube channel. At Isothermal, we believe that staying connected to our students helps you to start strong and finish strong. Looking for something to do uh, with the family? Check out Sandrak's Christmas Wonderland, brought to you by Tryon International Equestrian Center. The Wonderland is a two-mile stretch of lights, music, and the holiday spirit. The show runs all week long from 6 to 10 p.m. until January 1st. Tickets are exchanged by the vehicle and can be purchased in advance or brought at the gate. Don't forget to check out other holiday events that Tryon offers such as Winterfest, Breakfast with Santa, and much more. That sounds like fun! We should go! Oh yeah, you know what, we should! Road, Road trip! trip. <laughs> oh. The History Matters series has gone vir virtual. There were some familiar faces in Studio A. Former Lieutenant Governor and President of ICC was interviewed by Mr. Friday Night, a former broadcasting instructor, Jay Coombs. The interviews focus on Dalton's successful political career and Coombs' local broadcasting career. The videos are a part of the History Matters series and can be viewed on, a nor on Isothermal TV, the college's YouTube channel. Several weeks ago, we reported that students were hungry for other food choices on campus. Administration responded to let us know that they were working on a solution. Bringing food trucks was discussed as a resolution. Rocky's Barbecue was invited to campus several times over the past few weeks. ICN is looking for your feedback on the idea of food trucks on campus. Please comment below this program on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. Blue Ridge Hope, a nonprofit on Main Street, Rutherfordton, is offering tutoring for middle and high schoolers as well as counseling through their program, HopeWorks. We spoke with a community engagement director to learn more about what HopeWorks all about. We want to help guide our community to hope and wholeness. We think those words go together. So the way we do that through HopeWorks is we believe that if we can connect with teenagers earlier on in life and show them that it's okay to talk about what's on your heart, what's on your mind, and that it's okay to go to counseling. The Rutherford County Symphony is looking for new musicians to fill out its roster this year. The symphony is now hosting its regular performances post-COVID and anyone who can play an orchestral instrument and attend regular practice sessions is welcome. Here's one of the performers of the symphony explaining what they love perform, why they love performing with them so much. Well, I've always had a passion for music, and it's always sort of been a dream of mine to play in a symphony. Um, and at the time, I had no idea that the symphony existed. But when I did, I just got so excited, um, and it's been so enjoyable ever since I joined. I learned so much, and it's just an amazing experience. If you'd like to contact the symphony, email them at info at rcsymphony.org. The end of the semester is coming up on the 15th, and you may be wondering where you can find certain information regarding your classes. If you're looking to register for classes for the next semester, you can make an appointment in the Advising Center online under the Student Planning section of your Patriot Port. All final grades for your classes will be on the Moodle under the Grades tab. 
That's all the time we have for today. Wait! What? <gasps> Merry Christmas, co-host! Oh, thank you, Michael. Oh, I got you something as well. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Merry Christmas, buddy. <laughs> thank you, Merry Christmas. And to our faithful viewers out there, we wish you the merriest Christmas of all. <laughs>